I want to jump a little bit now to uh, the larger design um, because you all work in different spaces. Both of you work in different mm -hmm. spaces. And if you're in the festival theater, it's one thing. If you're in the Tarragon theater, it's another. If you're in the Neptune theater, it's another. If you're in a warehouse doing an opera, it's another. How does the shape, the physical bones of the theater or the space affect where you would go in terms of your design? Got me? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think it's, it's that old business of a degree of appropriateness or a comfort level with a context. This sounds strange, but I mean, um, if a show is a very sort of um, glitzy kind of overdone piece, it would work out really well in one of the big sort of ornate theaters. But if you try to put that same show or treat that same show that way in sort of a, uh, a warehouse context, there's something that's like forced or out of, out of sort of appropriate feeling or, or um, literally uh, the, the overall context of the space is not supporting that look. So I think that you have to be aware, in my opinion, of the degree to which you can push, and let's use the, just the term, the illusion that you're trying to create, in order that you don't actually subtly start to worry the audience. And by that I mean that if you, if you dressed or, or literally overdressed a production in a very sort of bleak space, You'd either have to be making a very specific kind of comment based on the particular interpretation of the piece, or the audience is going to go, you know, I mean, it, it's kind of scruffy chairs and it's, you know, a black ceiling with um, paint peeling off walls. The, what, what is that supposed to get from this? Whereas if you scale the show down in terms of its kind of glitz and whatever to something that feels right in the space, right. The audience will go, oh, this is great. I'm really enjoying the show, and and it won't register. It's it's this whole business of, I mean, in the in the context of lighting, that the best comment you can get from an audience is that they didn't notice the lighting, and in that sense, what you've done is you've created, back to my line about an appropriate context for the action, in such a way that people go out and they go that was great, you know, the, the, the scene five was terrific, the actor did this wonderful scene, blah, blah, blah. They don't realize the, the extent to which they have been supported in their kind of comfort by the lighting. 